I don't think I, I don't think I really realize what's about to happen right now. We went out to brunch and Tyler was there and I remember giving him a ride home and I was thinking to myself, I think my son could go for him. And from then on, they were inseparable. So I kind of knew from the beginning that they would make a perfect match. Tyler and Jeff are here today in a church where they have begun to worship quite regularly to be married because we are the type of church that is happy to see two people get married when they are in love and when there is no good reason at all for that love not to be blessed by God. So it's that kind of church. When I think Jeff first saw Ty, he probably saw somebody who enjoyed life. He had fun. He went out of his way to make sure he included anybody that was in his circle so that nobody felt left out. So I think Jeff found somebody that was enjoying life. I think Tyler, when he first saw Jeff, saw somebody that was so amazingly confident, so successful, so comfortable in his skin, and I think Ty has always appreciated that in a person. Today I marry my best friend, the love of my life, the man who swept me off my feet at first sight and continues to do so every day, the person I want to experience everything with, and the person I wish was with me when we are apart, the person who makes me laugh until I cry, and when those tears are real, wipes them away and gives me the strength to take on anything life throws at us. The man who makes me proud of myself and of our love. A love that I will defend against anyone who ever challenges it. <laughs> the man who makes me want to be the best I can be for him and myself. And the person who I lie next to and feel completely at peace with. My soulmate. Today I pledge to you that I will love and be there for you for all the days of my life. Jeff, you have been a part of my past, my present, and you'll obviously be a part of my future, as long as everything goes okay. <laughs> We've had our ups and downs throughout, made a lot of amazing, irreplaceable memories, but the one thing that remained and will always remain consistent is my love for you. You are my best friend and my partner in life. I can't promise perfection, as we both probably know at this point, but I can promise you my love and support forever. I love you, Jeff. I love you. Can't wait to celebrate tomorrow with all of you. We have a lot of fun surprises and a lot of great... Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> Maybe a couple. And the day is not just about Tyler and I, but it's about all the love stories in this room. And that really means a lot to us. And we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you guys and your love stories. So can't wait to celebrate. And, and um, cheers to you guys. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> Tyler, we've loved you as a brother, Alicia, <laughs> Brian, and me, way before today and, and you know, past nice. tomorrow. To my brother, we're just so happy that you found someone to love. And that you're, I can see you're beaming. You're just so happy. We, we knew kind of Tyler was the one because there was just a different glow about you uh, when you guys met. It's pregnant. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so, we love you guys. But 
I always looked up to Jeffrey and I always loved him and you know really admired him as my big brother. Nothing has changed, you know, since then to now. I still look up to you as my big brother and I'm extremely proud to call you my big brother. But as for Tyler, um, Kevin mentioned how we always liked you and that is very, very true. Jason and Mary, the most incredible high school friends in the world. On the eve of all of our weddings, we used to write letters to our friends and uh, they would compile it and put a, a scrapbook together of all of our times together. And they delivered this to us yesterday and it was probably the nicest gift I've ever gotten. I, I think ever since you've entered our lives, our family's not only accepted you, but we, we've become stronger as a family just because we know how much you appreciate the concept of family. Um, we, we've done more things together since you've been here, and the, there's not a, a moment in my mind where I picture my family that you're not there. So I, I love you as a brother, and have, and I'm glad to be here with you. Oh, that's really nice. That's nice. <laughs> So, but really, the two of you, what a, it's, it, it shows, it shows. Aunt Doreen has always been like a second mom to me, and she was my first best friend. So, I didn't forget you. This is for you to open tomorrow morning. I couldn't be happier for the two of you. Tyler, when he met you, you bring a smile to everyone's faces. I know the two of you are going to go to great places. That just came to my <laughs> The day started out beautiful, sunny, clear, a little cool, perfect fall day. They had two guardian angels working overtime, extra time, time and half, to make sure this day turned out perfect. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's spitting a little bit. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. How did you know? I, how did you know I wanted the square ones? <laughs> And you wanted the round ones, right? I did. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. So happy. <laughs> so my grandmother was a big Italian lady <laughs> and, and she had this giant necklace and pretty much any big moment she's been there right, you know, on my heart and she'll be there today. Jeff is genuine. What you see is what you get. And he loves family. His family always comes first. He always thinks of everyone else before him. Tyler, I think, matches that. Tyler is very close with his family. I just think they're made in heaven. Good neighbors, John and Janice. She actually got us embroidered pocket squares in blue with the date of our, of our wedding. When Tyler was young, I would say he was, I guess a word is shy, but also an observer of life going on around him. And as he grew, I see him and Jeffrey, who is very outgoing. He has brought the absolute best of Ty out, and together they are perfect for each other. Pieces of the puzzle complete. Being a, a normal younger brother and him being an amazing older brother, I can remember him teaching me to do flips on the Marnie's trampoline next door because he's a freak of nature and I am not, and I am afraid of breaking my neck. I remember him letting me scooter with him and his friends down the road, and Seth, um, even though it wasn't the cool thing to do to let me hang out with the older friends. How much joy he spreads to other people, even when it's not necessarily an easy situation to find joy. And Ty, you encompass that more than anyone I've ever met. Jeff is a singular friend or brother or son or uncle, that rare one that never forgets to make you feel special 
on your day with a heartfelt text or a thoughtful gift who is always there when you need him for advice or an ear to bend or a shoulder to lean on when things are tough. And I've been there and I can tell you it makes you feel that much more special that someone as special as he is there for you. He is truly singular, but no longer because finally after years of searching, Jeff has found his match. I know we're about to do this, but I just don't think it's real yet until we walk in and see the people. That's, yeah. it's, I think that's gonna change things. Yeah. Jeff and Tyler asked us to share our insights and advice about what it takes for a couple to achieve a long and successful marriage. If you wanna hear from the real experts, Look no further than to your own parents. We think that they raised two exceptional young men. If you want to see couples that have checked every box when it comes to building foundations for a long and happy marriage, look at them. Anyone who does can plainly see that they didn't settle. They searched out and found their soulmates. Their marriage is rooted in kindness and love. They respect and trust one another. They communicate honestly and respectfully. They've committed to each other and put each other first. They compromise rather than take part positions. So if you truly want a successful marriage, the best advice Elaine and I can give to you is to do what you've watched your parents do every day and every single day of their lives. We are so happy to be here to support and celebrate the love between Tyler and Jeff. For us, the act of declaring, expressing, and expressing our love and devotion to each other in front of our closest family and friends was both life and relationship changing. After our 20 years together, all the advice we can give is to keep the laughter alive. A good joke can always diffuse a horrible fight or lighten up a situation. Treat each other with compassion and respect as you would even a stranger, especially when the road gets rough. Times will change, you both will also change. So try to communicate with each other as you both evolve and as your relationship evolves. This constant new discovery in each other will keep your bond and friendship alive. Always lift each other up. Life is tough and there will be times when it's hard to believe in oneself and we both swear that if we weren't there to hold up one another, we would have lost ourselves. Dream and help each other accomplish those dreams. Then make more dreams and more dreams after that. As a wise man once told me, marriage is not a ball and chain, but a liberation. As one has finally found the partner in life that lets you be your true self. I wrote a note to myself last night after the rehearsal dinner that Tyler and Jeff are not just getting married here today, they're forming a family. They're gathering a family here today with all of us. It includes their own families and many of us. Some who feel perhaps they belong in no family better than this one. They're gathering this family around them as God blesses the two of them on their wedding day. And I believe that they intend for each of us to be a part of their family until death do us part. What is God doing here today? What is God up to? What is just the right word to describe what God is doing? I believe that word might be this. It might be meld. Are there any canasta players here? Of course there are. A meld is a stack or a pile or a group of three or more like cards, similar cards, but it can include wild cards, which is part of what makes it interesting, I think. That's a good thing. A meld is not a pair. You don't have a meld when you have just a pair. A meld is bigger than that. It includes more people, even those wild cards. A meld is a family. Well, God can meld Jeff and Tyler together, two individuals, along with a large family, to become a family today. To become one couple, 
melded with us, their family, by God's grace today. And Jeff and Tyler have asked us here so that we can meld with them. Seven cards melded together makes canasta, I think. And if you have at least one canasta, then one player can go out and play will continue to the next hand. So I will call canasta so that we can move on to the next hand and get on with this meld. In the name of God, I, Jeffrey, take you, Tyler. I, Jeffrey, take you, Tyler. To be my spouse. To be my spouse. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Tyler, take you, Jeffrey. I, Tyler, take you, Jeffrey. To be my spouse. To be my spouse. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Tyler, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, as a symbol of my vow and with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you in the name of God. Jeffrey, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, and all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you in the name of God. In the name of God. Now that Jeffrey and Tyler have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are joined in holy matrimony in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Know that we and everyone here today are happy that you found each other. Today is the first step on a long, happy, and exciting journey. We wish you both a happy and loving future together. From the bottom of our hearts, congratulations, and just know how much we love you. We wish you an enormous amount of love and success to continue these years of self-discovery and evolution together. Enjoy the ride. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> it's a roller coaster. Open up those bars, get over to the photo booth, and get on the dance floor. Let's do it! To my incredible husband, now husband. <laughs> Jeff, if it weren't for you, honestly, this whole thing would not be a possibility, it would not exist. So please raise a glass to Jeff. This is an incredible night, so thank you. The memory of the two of them walking into that room with the biggest smiles and everybody on their feet clapping and joyous for them and their day. Jeff, as I mentioned last night, you do not fit into our family. You are our family. 
Ty, it is only fitting that someone like yourself who has spread so much happiness has found someone else who does the exact same and has found happiness for yourself. To keep it casual in the spirit of the night, I love you. Congratulations to both of you. Jeff and Tyler, I congratulate you. I love you. And I am so happy you found each other. And I just wish you the very best. Enjoy every moment. Between the two of you, I feel like I have so much love. And I just want it so bad for you two to find the same thing and to enjoy life to to love each other to find happiness to care for each other when things aren't quite so smooth to rejoice when they're more than smooth and wonderful i just wish you the world i didn't even know what song we were going to dance to i'm glad he picked it because my god i always stood by him no matter what no matter what and I support him in everything that he does. Tonight is eternal. All of us will always remember this very night. And we may not remember it was October 5th, 2019, but we will always have this memory. That we were here, surrounded by family, by friends, by loved ones who aren't guaranteed to be in our lives a year from now because you don't know what life holds. Take a look around you and see them. Cherish this moment. Tonight is a gift from Tyler and Jeffrey. Drink it in. This is the good stuff in life. Raise your glass to, to Tyler and Jeffrey. Thank you for making each of our lives more special for having you guys in it. Thank you for this night, this amazing, perfect, magical night that we will always remember. A night amongst family and friends and loved ones where we got to witness the official beginning to your guys' love story. Look around at how happy all of us are right now. And we're happy because we all love you so very much. Cheers. Now, I'll have you know I'm very comfortable with my heterosexuality, but when Jeff showed me that picture of Tyler on the beach, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not certain, I'm not certain, but it may, it may have moved slightly. <laughs> We were home a couple weeks ago and I asked my brother, hey, wedding's coming up, do you want me to say anything at the rehearsal dinner or whatever? And he said, did I not mention that you're my best man? And I said, no, no you did not. But I, <laughs> I guess I'll speak at your wedding. So here we are. Ty. Like the hobbit, Bilbo Baggins, you are incredibly short. Tyler is warm and humble and kind, and Jeff is kind of an asshole. <laughs> Tyler is the kind of guy you hope your best friend ends up with, and by that I mean a former underwear model, 13 years his junior. <laughs> 